It was Henry's turn to take the express, as Gordon was called away to work in the shunting yard. He didn't like this at all. As engines passed Gordon in the yard, they'd make rude comments, and the trucks would join in too. James is right, you know. You're too high maintenance, said one. And you've got more bags under your eyes than you could ever carry, another added. You trucks are too noisy. You should know your place and keep quiet. But the trucks didn't. They kept making fun of him wherever he went. Eventually, Gordon had enough. If you can't learn your place, I shall put you in it. And he hit the trucks hard. Too hard. <laughs> you big clumsy oaf! <laughs> they laughed. Gordon felt most embarrassed. That night, the other engines laughed too. Oh, no one has a spotless record. Arthur does, Thomas added. What about the time he crashed into the vans? That was my fault, really. He's never had a proper accident. Does that mean he's more important than you, Gordon? Laughed James. Gordon was not amused. The next morning, Gordon was still working in the yard and was grumbling to himself. Arthur will slip up one day, and then he'll get into a sticky mess again, just like before. The trucks giggled. They had forgotten about Arthur's incident. But now it was all they could talk about. Meanwhile, Percy was in high spirits. As he came to the fishing village, he saw Arthur. Any accidents lately? Asked Percy jokingly. None at all. Arthur proudly replied. Why'd you ask? Well, we were talking about your spotless record last night. Well, except for that time with Thomas, of course. Please. He said, I don't like to talk about that. I was teased about it for weeks by the trucks. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise. Still, at least the trucks seem to have forgotten, haven't they? Said Percy, trying to make up for what he had said. I suppose, Arthur said, as he calmly puffed away. Later, Arthur was on the mainline collecting trucks for the village. Look, it's the champ tart! One began. You look good enough to eat! Another continued. Soon all of the trucks were calling Arthur names. Wherever Arthur went, the trucks kept on going. Arthur tried to keep calm as best as he could, but eventually he couldn't take it any longer. If you trucks can't behave, then we'll just not go any further. And he came to a stop. The trucks giggled, deciding what to do next. Then, they all became very silent. Thank you, said Arthur. Now we can continue. But he couldn't. The trucks wouldn't let him. They had put their brakes on. You're too sickly for us. We refuse to go any further until a clean engine arrives. They demanded. I am a clean engine, retorted Arthur, and he pulled as hard as he could, but still the trucks didn't move. You smell like a fish cake. The truck teased, but Arthur wasn't listening anymore. He was too busy trying to get the trucks to move. Then... One of the couplings broke. Arthur tried to stop as best as he could, but he had built up too much steam. He rounded a bend and ended up... in a lake. The trucks laughed and laughed. Fishy engine should go in the sea, not a lake. They chuckled. Arthur felt... Awful. 
Eventually, Thomas arrived to help. He was surprised. Oh no, Arthur. You've broken your spotless record. Properly this time. But Arthur felt too ashamed to say anything. Once he was repaired, he puffed off sadly to his shed. Meanwhile, Thomas returned to his own, not sure what to think. He told Percy what had happened with Arthur. However, someone else had heard Thomas. Gordon felt very pleased.